Welcome to the BS Show, episode number 420. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. And as you can see, camera's different. Um, there's a bit of lighting and stuff. I'm trying something new. I'm trying something new. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how it works or how good it may look. But hey, um, I'm trying something new out. If it works, this will be the norm. If it doesn't, eh, we'll go back to what we had before with some few caveats here and there. But anywho, let's hop right into the news. So, news time. Kotobukiya Applejack available for pre-order. And, well, if you guys are waiting for it, here she is. Um, in a tweet made by Kotobukiya, they just mentioned that, yo, um, Applejack is available for pre-order. Uh, come and get her. And also the Japanese store that do sell this are giving out pamphlets for the character pony stuff. So here is what they look like. Uh, let's go into the tweet and see how it shows. And let's see. Yes. Uh, Apple Jack from the My Little Pony Bushojo series is available now for pre-order. Select retailers in Japan will be passing out My Little Pony catalogs. Overseas fans, keep an eye out for updates licensed by Hasbro. So, let's see, what's this? Um, yeah, it's just normal catalog and whatnot. Doesn't really tell us anything new. Um, I'm guessing this is just uh, things like information about the characters and what their hobbies are. I'm, I'm just guessing. I'm not 100% sure. I don't read Japanese. But... Yeah, um, if I were to be there, I would really love to get this uh, brochure or what is it, pamphlet catalog? Yes. But yeah, this this would be cool. This would be cool. Um, how much is going to be pre-ordering? I'm just going to assume it's about a hundred dollars. Um, let's see, Kotobukiya, the Twitter. That's yeah. so. As per usual, head to your uh, anime import store that do sell the Kotobukiya figures. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, Kinokuniya also do supply them. So go check them out if you are interested in it. And well, uh, it's kind of a short news for that one. So let's help into the next one. So Lauren Faust gives first comment on Pony Life. Hmm, this is fascinating. So let's just hop right into what Lauren said in her tweet. Reviewing potential writers and got a pony life script as a sample. All was well until suddenly I read she FaceTime with the other ponies on her tablet. It was like brick in the head. Not judging, just surprised. So this is one of those scenarios where mm, how do I put this you know I'm just gonna click to the source but I, I'll say this this is one of those situations where Lauren created the show she had an idea in mind and tech was not in it for some of you who have mentioned or in the tweet here says like this one um, Iron Will and his goats have working microphone earpiece are you telling me tablets couldn't exist in Equestria so here's the caveat Lauren wrote for season 1 and some of season 2 Iron Will if I'm not mistaken came about season 3 was it let me double check uh, when fact checking I need to go for this camera and give me a second folks uh, it's one of those cases where sometimes you have an idea of what is what, but suddenly, oh no, no, that's bad. Like, let me just go for the characters. Characters are much faster. Uh, let's go for Iron Will was a antagonist, right? He could be, was it? Yeah. I don't see him. That's strange. Uh, Huh. Maybe non pony characters. Yeah, there he is. Uh Iron Will. 
Let's see his first appearance description series. One of them after putting your hoof down. Yes, there you go. Putting your hoof down. That was okay. Season two. Hmm. 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 That theory just went out the window. So um, let's move on to the this one. So yeah. Hmm. This was on Lawrence run, so Iron Wheel does have the microphone. I, I don't know. It's I, I'm guessing it's the way that it's presented. Um we've seen bits and pieces of how pony life is. It's very slice of life, very um short. It's flow it's following the flow of Teen Titans Go, Thundercat Roars. I mean, I got no idea if it's good or bad, but from what I can see and tell, it's showing the other side of the ponies. They're, it's showing them in a... Uh, how do I put this? They're showing the ponies in a more different shade of light. I got no idea how to explain this beyond that this is technically an alternate universe that could work i mean if you hmm how it was if you can accept fanfics and they're in their alternate universe kind of scenario pony life is similar to that it's i'm i'm just going to say that it won't be breaking any new grounds in terms of character development or whatnot. All I'm just saying is that Pony Life is just going to show the characters in a new light or a different perspective. It's interesting. Like It's interesting to see um, from what I can tell from the short animation we see. Uh, Twilight is a rageaholic. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it seems that way. But anywho, um, for this one, tablets, you know what? Why not, right? I'm going to blame Sunset on that one. She brought it there. Yeah. So what is it? Uh, she FaceTime. Yeah. So it's Sunset's fault. Yes. Let's blame her Sunset. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next news. Uh, next news is awesome timeline video showing of all of Pony across the decade. And in all honesty, I've seen a bit of it. And oh my God, this is awesome awesome the way that it's structured the way that it's told it's like what 50 plus minutes long it's about an hour but it's really detailed on how each uh event is arranged uh, like they told us the audience like okay uh grogar he was the first he created monsters blah 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 and then so on so on and so on i mean all you have to do is go watch it. It's just worth your time. And it's done by a whole bunch of awesome people. I don't remember all of their names, but they're in the opening of the video. So go check them out. Like, seriously, this is worth a watch. If you ever wanted to know what's the proper timeline uh, of events, this is it. But if you want to know what year is what year, I got no idea. That's beyond me. And last is, Pony Life banner on the My Little Pony YouTube channel has removed its June 18 date. And you and me, we talked about this last week, right? We talked about the YouTube page and how it is. I mean, you can go check the previous episodes for this. I'm not lying that we were checking out. It was on the June 18. Then when we checked the YouTube page out, it's gone. So... For us, the NBA show guys, you and me, this is nothing new. They're just late. And it's June 17. That would mean that it's on a Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. But still, it's just you and me. So, theory has it that they're not committed to the date yet. And it's understandable with how things are. And how they want to present the show. Is it going to be on the YouTube? Or is it going to be on the Discovery channel? Or Discovery whatever the channel is? Or 
how like there's a lot of questions being asked about said distribution, but with what you call this mm, uh, other countries, other regions like uh, in Canada with Treehouse, it could be still going up on the what did the Treehouse say again? Twenty first of June was it? Yes, premier June twenty first. So it could be there. So it's one of the scenarios where probably in Canada is going to be on the twenty first of June. Yet on the US, it probably may still be on the eighteen, but probably will be another date. For now, all we have to do is just wait and see. I know some of you might not like it because Pony Life is not your ponies, but here's the thing: just imagine. When you, or just remember back when you were starting watching the ponies, like you saw it and like you're saying like, eh, it's not my kind of tea. Like it's not really cool and whatnot. It's like, uh, oh, it's not my thing. It's not my thing. And you give it a watch. You give it a try. And suddenly you're, you know, interested in it. You watch more episodes. You got invested and you became a fan. So let's just say that for this one, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot to the people who are just starting to watch Pony Life, or just want to enjoy Pony Life. I mean, people who just want to enjoy more ponies. There's no, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, if I'm not mistaken, some of the Teen Titan Go fans say that uh, some of the later episodes have gotten better. I heard. Not sure if it's true or not. I got no idea. But still, let's just hope that the show Pony Life or My Little Pony Pony Life is entertaining and puts a smile on your face, and the jokes are uh, what you call this um, a home run, yay! So let's hope for that. Let's hope for that. Even though. I'll just say this one more last time. Even though if it's not our cup of tea, it doesn't really represent how we feel MLP should be. Just give it a shot, and who knows? It might be fun, and you can put it under the alternate universe tab, where this is what happened in a another universe. So it makes sense. So yeah, and with that. Let's move on to the next topic of yeah. Let's move on to the next topic. What have I been doing with my week? So, uh, in terms of video gaming, nothing new. Haven't touched Overwatch in a while. Wow, it's just been repetitive. Like I haven't really gotten a chance to play it that much, and I haven't really gotten my groups to play it. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Other than that, um, yes, this past Friday I've played Magic: The Gathering, and it's one of those scenarios where you at home already know that uh, wait you do this most of the week. So why are you reporting on it now? Well, that's because me and my friends gathered a group of eight players, including myself, to play in a sanctioned event. Getting the eight players was an adventure on its own. It was fun. To just rally up the group, just to go to the LGS and play the game. And if you're wondering, yes, uh, Malaysia is still under uh, the control movement order. Uh, was it C uh, MCO or mm, no. movement control order? Yes, whatever it is. So it's still going through that, but it's. Um, Conditional movement control order, but that's besides the point. But yes, uh, LGS opened up for us. We had two tables, so we had a table of four players. And if you're wondering why the hell did the local LGS, the LGS owner, open up two tables, the logic is as commander players. That's why I'm playing. We don't move that much. We don't. Move around the shop, so 
As for sat on a table playing our card games was okay. Also, we were forced, we were asked to wear a mask all the time and sanitize our hands with sanitizers, sorry, with hand sanitizers before going into the shop. So, they were precautions, they were precautions. But, uh, getting part on track. Uh, played the game, was fun, uh, won a few matches. So, yay, it, it was an awesome time. Uh, would love to do it again for the future, so we'll just have to wait and see how that goes. Probably next week, I hope, I hope. Like, if we can get another 8 players, that would be awesome. So anyway, um, let's move on to the end. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsdreamer.com. You can also catch us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and search your radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitch Radio for the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast. Over there, you can catch me, Silver Quill, and Totera reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and, well, other specials that we like to do sometimes. Sometimes we like to talk other things about other than ponies, and those are animes, comics, gamings, and movies. We have other interests too, yes. So anyway, uh, let's see. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. If there is support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank you tonight, Tristan, and also Master Black. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya.